Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. I know my windshield is dirty. Uh, it is what it is. Today, I'm heading to a new and exciting junkyard. I'm in Kalamazoo. I'm in a not great neighborhood. Uh, that's how I know it's going to be awesome because, like, the people who are telling you that if you don't have a sheet metal intake, you're going to be slow and never going to have a good time, they don't come out here. Um, they're not going to. So, I'm at Lake Truck Parts in Kalamazoo. The people who come out here are my people. They're working class people. They're the people who need to keep their crap on the road. Um, so I have high expectations of this place. Peanut doesn't seem to be so into it. Coco doesn't care. She's gonna sleep in the sun. But I'm gonna head out there and I'll bring you guys back. We'll see what we can find out here. Um, so hold on a second. I can tell you guys already this place is a fucking dump, which means it's perfect. Perfect. Oh, this is exactly 100,000 tractors in a heap. Outstanding. Let me uh, pause you guys. I'll bring it back. I'm like four feet in, and here's an LQ4 already. Just that quick. I, don't, I wouldn't take that one because it's missing the intake. But uh, very promising. The thing is, I don't see a gantry crane, so I guess I have to figure out how you're supposed to pull an engine here. Let's go roam some more. Let's go hit these square bodies over here. I'm the old heavy half, legit heavy half. People like to just say heavy half for the hell of it, but uh, it was a real package in the late 70s. You can get a 454 and a half ton in those. Jesus. This one looks pretty okay. That fender's nicer than the one that's on Daryl. Oh, it's been patched. And then somebody came and cut the patches out. Very cool though. I'm uh, going to pick up a project. Um, there's a 350 block. Here's a NBS. It's a 5.3. So it's got some bad Gen 4 rods and flat tops in it. Um, I'm going to pick up a project. I'm going to do some different stuff with my Dodge. You guys will see that this weekend. But uh, it's going to require some stuff. I have a few different ways to go about doing it. Here's a newer square body. There's a lot of square bodies out here. There's a lot of everything. I'm gonna have to stop up front and ask them how how they pull the engines, like what they do. I don't see a gantry crane around. The K5, it's a bummer. Somebody could have saved it. Oh, it just keeps going. Look, there's a whole there's a little moat and a whole area of SUVs back there. The Yukon, is this a Denali? Nope. 5.3. Abandon all hope. All ye who enter here. Yeah, this is the 71 Suburban. Those have like a cool front balance people like to buy. This is an MBS Yukon. Somebody got that. Another square body. Service bed. Ooh, a wrecker bed. That would be cool for my new work truck. I wonder how I can get that out of here. If I can. Yeah, people often ask... You know, again and again, like, how do you find this stuff? Well, I go look. I've never been here before. I'm two and a half hours from home. Um, I was just willing to take a chance. I, I do appreciate that I have more free time than most of you who have day jobs, but nevertheless. Center bolt, small block. 
Another center bolt small block. I wonder how I'm supposed to get over there. Jump. It's gotta be a path. Interesting stands they have here. Uh, that's neat. Most places just have a tire or a wheel and a wheel. And then it gets muddy and they fall over on your head. Always give them a good shake. Whoa. Almost broke me neck. Here's a 454. Very cool. Wouldn't mind having me a 454. This one's a diesel. I can tell right away from the bumper is how I knew instantly that it was a diesel. Um, as they have those cutouts. The tensioner pulley on this thing's worth up 70 bucks. It's actually the tensioner pulley that's on my Toyota. Man, there's a lot to see here, folks. Hopefully you're not bored. Looks like I'm zoomed in too much. I'll pull that back out for you. Ooh, the van section. I'm going to walk over there. I'm going to put you on pause while I walk over there. The vans are a money shot, really, because if you're doing hot rod stuff, um, they all have, well, they don't all have. This one's a 4.3, but it's an 8 lug, so I bet you it's a 4L80 nonetheless with a slightly higher converter. Let's see if I can get my large self in here. So on the door tag there we got L35 which is MT1. That'd be a 4L80. Here's an LS. It's not in the bread box, but uh so it's probably a 48. Somebody took the 4L80 already. This is probably a 48 though. The door's still on it. We can go take a look. Maybe if I can get around there. Yeah, a place like this with a lot of vans is a BFD. LR4, that's 4.8. There's another one. I think this is the older style headlight. But it's a 3500, so it's going to be another 4L80. Plenty of them out here. There's a Hemi. Got away from somebody. Let me put you on pause and... Uh, slide through some more of the stuff. I want to show you guys as much of this as I can because I think it's pretty cool. But I don't want to make you watch me walk around and trip over everything. So This van's an LY6 MT1. Oh, somebody got everything good off of it. This had rectangle port heads and everything on it. There's the coil packs. And this one would have been money. Would have been perfect. One day I'll come across this set of rectangle port heads. And they will find their way onto Daryl. 06, 4.8. I don't know where the sticker is on this one. This place is really, man, it's just a gold mine. LP4 MT1. So this one's uh yeah, that that 480 still there. An engine. I wonder if they don't pull them. I'm starting to suspect that might be the case. You might only be able to get transmissions out of here. Because all the engines are here. What we got up here? This is a diesel. This is an OM6. I don't know what it is. I don't know which one it is. 642? Uh, 605? I don't know. Somebody will correct me. This is a little turbo diesel. Pretty cool. Let's go. There's another LK4 over there. A 2500 HD. I'll bring you guys back shortly. I'm over here in the Dodge section now. There's a Hemi in here. It's a three-quarter ton. This is a 03, so this is actually like the easiest one to swap and tune. If I can open it. I don't know why I can't open it. I don't really care. Uh, yeah, that's the easiest one. Those axles are kind of 
they're not garbage. I would use one. Um, I'd probably use a Super Duty axle first, so it's kind of a bit of a bummer for me that when they went from the older style trucks like those, we're in one over there. Almost everything universally went to driver's side drop. Makes it a little challenging to do what I want to do with my work truck. Toppers are literally valueless out here. I'm wearing my boots, I definitely recommend you wear your boots you come to a place like this. Truck yard is always good for a laugh. Uh, I'm just over here looking at Dodges. They got tons and tons of everything. It looks like they got one, two, these Mickey Thompson eight lug wheels. Or Mickey Thompson style eight lug wheels. So yeah, I got three of them, of course. People in the off-roading will, the long side, this is a Dana 60 front and probably a 70 rear. Um, they'll tell you that the long side shaft being two pieces is not desirable, which it's not, but it's easy enough to fix. It's probably not that big a deal for some folks either. Like me, just driving around doing work. Um, this is a Cummins truck. I bet it's not in there. I'm going to get around and uh, see. I wouldn't mind making my new work truck a dually either. But let me get around and see here. She's gone. This is probably a 4500. I bet. Or a 5500. Look at these tow hooks. That's serious. Yeah, with that beam axle. Oh, it's like 10 lugs too. It's got to be a big, big one. Cool. Let's explore further. I haven't seen an import yet. I don't know if I'm in the wrong spot or what, but. Oh, that's a nice seat. That's a really nice seat. Nicer than mine. Probably worth coming back for. Power ram. Let's walk. Ram charger. Oh, there's all the Fords. Here's all the imports. Sweet. Sorry, I was probably pointing you guys at the sky there. Yeah, part of my plan to turn my Dodge into a work truck is uh, Super Duty axles. I think. Because they're coil sprung, should ride decent. And they're... Uh, They're Dana 60s, they're coil sprung, they're driver side drop, they're everything I need. Let me go poke around in here. I'll bring you guys back if I find anything cool. Ford guys, when they say mod motors are good, <laughs> this is what happens to them. That's where they belong. This is a 10 cylinder, isn't it? Yep. Oh well. These Super Duty axles are just a dime a dozen out here in the yard. In every yard around Michigan, really. They're just really, really common. It's probably why I'll use them. There's a 460. That's probably, this is a ball joint Dana 60. This is like the least desirable Dana 60. Because the leaf's so far out, when you turn with a tall tire, it'll actually hit the spring. There's nothing you can do about it. So, like if you're going to run over a 37 inch tire, those are not for you. Found that fourth Mickey Thompson wheel. <laughs> now I can't remember where the truck is. Eh, whatever. I'm not buying anything today anyway. I know where to find them. Onward. I got a couple of Forerunners here, neither one of them have rear lockers. 
I'm gonna walk back this way. I'm on the other side of that moat now. That's like the first dude I've seen with a cart since I've been here. Starting to really think that you just couldn't get anything out of here you can't carry. Let's see what's in this sob. Some of these sobs, you can actually get an LS2 in. This one's a 4200. So it's just a big dumb sack of sadness. But uh, the 92X Arrow was a Trailblazer SS. This is like S10 heaven or hell, depending on how you're looking at it. They got a lot of them. Holy crap. And any of the mini mans are doing. I bring you guys back when I get up here. The Aleros never had anything cool. They never had anything but the 4.2 in them. I think holds went away in 03, so they're like a one year only thing. You couldn't give me. Oh, did I call that an Alero? I don't even know what it's actually called. The Oldsmobile GMT 360. The Oldsmobile Trailblazer. What's this? Oh, it's a hardtop tracker. Neat. I think my Aunt Debbie had one of these. I see somehow this engine got up here. This is an LS. How did it get up here? Somebody just manhandle it up here or what? What are we looking at? That is a 6.0. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. 6.0. 317. So it's an OQ4. It's got a seatbelt on it. wonder how they got it up. I really have no idea. I'm going to have to ask on my way out. Or, if you've been here before, if this is your local yard, let me know. Alright, I'm going to cruise on out of here. I've pretty much come to the end. Um, pretty hot. If I'm hot, peanut and coconut are hot in the truck. I'll ask them on my way out the door, though, what the deal is with pulling an engine. I I'm suspecting the deal is you don't. You just buy it from them already pulled. But, uh... I'll let you guys know before I check out. There's more square bodies. Ooh, a K5. Suburban. Throttle body 350. Two Suburbans. And it's a bummer. Bummer. Nice truck. Could have been something someday. But yeah, I'm going to head out of here and uh, I'll bring you guys back one last time before I, uh, before I take off. So, we'll be right back. Alright, so they actually said that uh, if I pull everything and get it ready to go and let them know that they'll come out and pick it up for me. So, there you have it. You step over here, you can see the sign. Uh, like truck parts, Kalamazoo, Michigan. I think they, char they charge right in line with what I'm paying everywhere else. I'll look it up and put it on the screen. But I think it's like 250 bucks or so for an engine. So, And there's some good ones out there. And, and I was a little bummed, but it looks like it's no big deal. So next time, next week, I'll probably go to a different random junkyard and show you guys. I hope you enjoyed the uh, adventure. And uh, we'll see you next time on The Driveway Engineer. Thanks for watching, guys.